I smile because I'm so proud of the woman I've become. I smile because I now face everything I used to run from. I smile because no weapon formed against me prospers. I smile because everything that tried to conquer me, I conquered. I smile because I didn't get bitter, I got better. I smile because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son and I'm in the whosoever. I smile because I've been hurt in relationships and I got through it. He doesn't look very um, vigorous. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. There you go. Second round for me today. And I got Mr. Willie with me, my special guest. Not special. <laughs> Not special guest. <laughs> it's another hot. About 93, 94 out today. Humidity's up. What it is, it's Florida. Go to, the left. to the left, to the left. Oh, just out here trying to encourage you guys. So, what's going on this summer with you? Write down in the comments. What are you? What are you planning? You know, you, I know some of y'all got kids, and you're home for the. They're home for the summer, and that's a whole thing. You know what to do every day because they're already bored. Yeah. It hadn't even been a week and they it already bored. You haven't spent enough of your money yet. <laughs> so you got to take them somewhere. <laughs> and, and drop them off. <laughs> take them to Bush Gardens. No. Buy them a summer pass. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> they have summer programs and stuff at Bush Gardens. Well, they have camps. Um, most of the camps are, are, most of the early camps are filled. They're, we they're weekly camps. Uh, so you can go to the website and find out about them. I would tell you in advance, they're not, they're not inexpensive, but they're pretty cool. Nothing during the summer is inexpensive. Nope, they're not. Even from back when we had a child in school, it was always expensive to keep them entertained or watched. But yep, you know, now it, it's outrageous. You know, I, it, it, it just occurred to me though, you know, I, I, I'm interested so many people working from home. Um, Do you work with your kids? It's a thing um, that, now that that maybe you don't have to have somewhere for them to be. Look at that sidekick. It's a sidekick. Hello. Good. Good. How are you? Where, you know, before you were working and you Always weren't stopping. home. Yeah. And then you, you, you weren't home, so maybe you, did, you had to figure Ooh. something out. Ooh. It's a tight fit. But now with somebody working from home. You may be able to coordinate that where yeah, they can be at home, but. Yeah, so you don't have to, you know, put them in a camp necessarily. But, you know, uh, the other place I work, uh, there are summer camps and there are kids there, so yeah, summer started. The kids are everywhere at the showcase, so. I think it makes a difference of what type of work you do and how old your child is. Yeah, you know, it seems to me that your 15 year old should be able to stay home by themselves. They shouldn't have to be at a camp or at grandma's and auntie's. Uh, because or you're even afraid. At 10, I would say. Well, you know, we used to we used to do that, but you can get arrested now for leaving your an eight year old or nine year old at home by themselves. Oh, really? Yeah, because you know, cause... <laughs> I was at when I turned nine. My parents thought I was mature enough to be at home by myself. Yeah, yeah, you know, we were we were latchkey kids before there was such a term. You know, you, mm -hmm. uh, you get home. I was in fourth grade. You get home. Nobody was home. That you know. Y'all know the instructions. Stay in the house until somebody got home. Don't let anybody in. Don't go outside. All that stuff. So, so we were all like in fourth you grade or so. You have to be cautious about answering the phone. <laughs> you know, because if you somebody calling, you know, they could be watching and call the, your house and find out that you're there by yourself or whatever. And really, y'all had that up here? Yeah. We ain't had that down here. <laughs> 
<laughs> we didn't have that on there. No, you know, the phone was not something we had to worry about necessarily. Uh, but um, no, but we were. But, but in, I remember because we were in fourth grade. That would have made, made us nine, I guess. Uh, it, it was perfectly. We got home, you know, in the afternoon. Sometimes our, a lot of our dads worked at the phosphate plant, and they were on swing shifts from you know three to eleven, seven to you know seven to three, that kind of thing. And sometimes by the time I got home, dad had already gone to work. My mom wasn't home yet, so a couple of hours before she got home. But all of us, all, all, all the kids on the block, and there were lots of us, would just go in the house and stay there until our parents got home. Did you really stay in the house? Yes. <laughs> yes. Because the last thing you want to do is, is, is be out there and, and not, because we didn't have watches or cell phones and not know, you know what time it was <laughs> and see that car turn the corner down the street and, and have your butt outside. That was the last thing you wanted ever. So no, we stay we stay in the house because we could watch TV, we could watch um, cartoons, we could watch Doctor Paul Bearer, uh, all that Flintstone. stuff. You know, we could watch all that stuff. So there, soap there, operas. There was stuff to there was stuff to do to entertain yourself. The Mike Douglas show. No, we didn't. The, the Mike <laughs> I Douglas like show. Mike Douglas. Mike Douglas was, was, was around here. Was on in the morning, so we didn't watch Mike Douglas. It was on when I came home from school. Nah. It was on right after the Guiding Light. So. <laughs> No, we just watch cartoons. But um, I didn't have to be by myself very long because my father drove school bus. So what he would do, he would drop me off, but then he'd have further routes to go, and then he would turn around and come back. It was like maybe an hour, and he would be home. But um, during the summertime, uh, once I turned nine years old, um, the first that first summer, he let me go to work with him and then because he was a, a janitor and he was cleaning the schools and stuff and so they all the teachers and stuff that were there would would find time to do stuff with me and I would do, follow him or whatever like that but then um when I turned nine they eventually just told me that I could be home by myself and then at 10, I believe, no, I was more like 12, I started babysitting. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Babysitting at 12, my, my niece and cousins and stuff. So I was making me some money while I was home because they would pay me. So. But things are different now, up. I guess. You ready to get up? Yeah. Which way we going? Okay. Oh, yeah, life is not so um, innocent and simple as it was back then. And also, it depended on how mature you were, I think. Because some... It stopped recording. <laughs> While others, I don't know if it was still recording or not. But... But we were we were more mature and not so naive. I think I don't know. No, I think I think times were different, and people and, and, and people just, and parents just weren't afraid of the stuff that parents that you are have afraid to be afraid of, for now. That, that, that are afraid of now. A lot a lot of things changed. Um, I guess in the early '80s, late '70s, when uh, there was that uh, those kids disappearing. Uh, in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and it was on the news 24/7, um, you, know, you know, and and then people got and people got afraid and started being more protective of their kids. Yeah, so. and uh, and it's just sort of it's, that that is sort of continued, and um, I, and and now with again the ah, can't walk on the ground. Why? Because it's not even. Oh. Hurts. And I almost fell down. Did you see me almost fall down, y'all? No, I didn't. That would, have been, that would have been fun, wouldn't it? I was watching for the car. <laughs> I was trying to stay upright. But, um, so things, you know, so things are different now, you know, and, and, and with the advent of, of, of social media and all the things we see on social media, you know, you, you watch um, Chris What's-His-Face and the Catch a Predator and all that stuff. And it can be kind of scary. So it's, things are, things are different. People when are different. your parents. So, so. I, I, I get it. But it's kind of a shame. Yeah, it's sad that we. And I think that because we were treated, you know, responsibly and could be trusted, um, 
we are better adults. I think kids now, you know, and and kids that were brought up during our son's age ha didn't have the advantage of making decisions on their own. Um, Cause we had to make decisions sometimes. <laughs> and people joke people, now that you know kids, grew, you know kids like us were feral, and we kind of and we and yeah. in a way we kind of were. We kind a lot of times we're left to our own devices. Yes, uh, figure it out. You'll be all right. <laughs> Don't burn the house down. Okay. Yes. Pretty low bar. Don't burn the house down. Uh, and, and and thirty years later, fifty years later, we're still here. So we're obviously, here. Um, we did something right. Did something right. It didn't, you know, and I know the new, newfangled parents. It doesn't seem like uh, it was a very loving, caring way, but it, but it, it, in a way, it surely was because, like Debbie said, you you got to make decisions, you got to think about things, you got to figure think things out. I think our brains matured faster. Well, they had to because <laughs> because you, you had to. You you got home and you were hungry from school. You had to figure something out. You didn't just sit there and be hungry until mom got home three hours later. Eat something. Is it? You know, food's in the refrigerator. Figure something out. Yes. We learned to cook. We learned to uh, make decisions for, you know, whether to do your homework now or not to do it now. Wait till they get home or whatever. But you made decisions. And it was great because... Do you let that person in the house? You, no, you don't let anybody in the house. <laughs> Unless it was your grandma or your grandpa, you don't let them in the house. That was all there was to it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the thing was that all these decisions were made in a fairly safe environment. So even if you screwed it up, for the most part, you weren't going to get you in weren't going to get hurt. You weren't going to die. But you did get to make the decision. Even if, you, even if you screwed it up, you were in a really safe environment to make that decision. And that's the trick. If you are in a safe environment, make the decisions. Mm -hmm. Let them let them choose for themselves. And now I find that younger people can't make decisions <laughs> very well. Well, we got a lot of you know, and, and they've got a, and you know, uh, not their fault, but they got a lot of choices. And it's and the more choices, the harder the decision is to make. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're back. There you go. We're home. It's hot out there. It's hot. It's out very here. hot. It is. It is. And we're hot. trying not to do too much in the heat. In the heat, but to do it, I walked this morning while it was cool. Got some laps in, so I'm pretty confident with that. You're just stretching but, my hip. That's <laughs> all there is to it. I'm just stretching my hip a little bit. But always remember. Never forget. We love you. And there is nothing, nothing you can, can do, do about, about it. it. Peace. We're out. Good morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Out for my sunrise walk. And I'm taking a different route. And I'm glad I did. Because I found a hill that I can speed walk up. And I didn't think I could make it, but I'm doing it. Praise God. Ooh. And I can tell it's doing a little bit more because I'm breathing harder, sweating more. But thankful for another day and thankful I can get out and walk. Praise God. Remember get your steps in today and that we love you there's nothing you can do peace have a blessed day sorry hey y'all hello we're trying to make this a quick run no we're not running <laughs> a quick Run, not walk, not really run oh, physically. Oh, okay. I, I don't want to mislead anybody. <laughs> but it's a cloudy, humid day here, and we're out for a lunch stroll, waiting for the rain to come at any minute. 
Yeah, they tell us it's gonna rain all week. It rained, it rained some last night, but actually not so much as you can tell out here, but. Uh, it sounded like it was pouring down, but. It didn't seem like it. But uh, it's supposed to rain every day. There's our friend. Yeah, the four ounce, four ounce dog. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how the walks go this week. Or I, I... well, <coughs> I had to stop and delete and trash some of my videos in order to continue to record. So, but it was gonna rain, and so hubby and I just powered power through our walk and now I'm here on the porch on a, my lunch break um, he went inside and the rain is here and um, from what we hear we're going to get this throughout the week so I don't know how many walking videos I'll get in but if I get up early in the morning if it's not raining I will go out and, and, and get some steps in but other than that, maybe exercising inside. <laughs> some walk away the pounds or some Kamora Ferry um, videos or something on YouTube to get my exercise in. But this is Tuesday and we're having a good week. Um, I'm going to go in and for the rest of my lunch hour, going to work on preparing some meals for the week. And... Uh, just enjoy the rain. We haven't had any rain here in a, in a while. It, it's Our grass is crunchy, what little grass we have. And I've been having to water my plants, my, you know, because some of my plants are out in the rain, but most of them are up here on the porch and they're doing well because I, I have been watering them. And see Velvet, who was doing really bad. Velvet is doing really good now. But, um, yeah, I've been paying attention to them. <laughs> who would have thought you'd have to water them and pay attention to them to get them to be healthy? Just like your body. You have to take care of it. So, I'm going to get off here and stop running my mouth <laughs> on my porch chronicles. And, uh get back in so before I have to log back in but thanks for watching we love you and there's nothing you can do about it bye